Master Grade New Gundam version KA. Hey, what's up again, everybody? It's Robert184, 2 rs 2 bs Gundam Reviews, at .net. And you've already seen the unbox and most of the parts for this Master Grade New Gundam version KA. It's time to wrap that up before you know it's going to get turned into what is hopefully an awesome looking MS. The shoulders are looking very newish there, and unlike some where you're just going to have mesh, I mean, never mind, you're not even going to have any inner frame on some of these, you're going to have a complete, a solid one on the inside there, and it's going to be kept off here by this gray part, which isn't going to have a big range of motion, but hopefully it's going to be enough. In terms of the coloring over here, you can see that you've got the main white there on the top, you're going to have the D off-white up there, these parts over here are going to be done up in proper white, and these parts here are really going to stand out as they are off-white, but even though they do look a little bit out of place or a little bit evolvy, whereas on the waist section we actually took those and detached them, when you do it in operation mode, you're not supposed to do anything fancy with these. They're just supposed to sit on there, even though they seem a little bit out of place. And I went for some light lining there, but you could definitely add a lot more if you wanted to. Over on the side, you're going to have this nice plus here that you're going to have this moving part, and you can see some gray on the inside there if you do have it all the way down. And it's going to bend up as you've got solid white lining opportunities all around there. And even the plus there that when you plug in these yellow parts, it's going to expose some gray on the inside. For the transformation though, unlike Unicorn, yep, what are you going to do with this one? Just pop it open there. And when you do that, you're going to have that nice solid green piece on the inside. The seals are definitely going to keep it sparkle. The fact that this part sort of overlaps it is just going to catch your eye and make you think that there's a lot more green than it is. It's going to look good from the top, the back, and the side really so far with this psycho frame. And especially the ease of the transformation, it seems like there's no lose. To take a look at the handless manipulator, you can see here that this is just going to sit on the inside of the gray piece there before you plug it into the actual body itself. You're going to have the poly cap on the inside of the solid gray piece there. This is going to move up 90 and you can rotate this all around with somewhat of a satisfying clicking sound there. Not necessarily needed though. You can see that you're going to have these little pieces here that are going to be the same on either side there. And you've got some white parts that are slapped onto either side, exposing some gray inner frame. But the way it's all done here, it's intentional and it definitely looks good. Including here this white piece which is going to be sitting over the elbow. Little tiny tick marks similar to what we've already seen down on the knees. And you can see that they're even going to go to the trouble of putting in the yellow little donuts there, which are going to look great with the gray all around it. Everything's looking good, and remember that the arms here are going to be different whether they're left and right. This is the uh, simpler one of the two. You can see the attachment point there and the way that it's going to sit on there. It's a solid fit, but this big gray piece on the inside, Bandai getting so much uh, out of their plastic here, as you're just going to see tons of gray here when you cover it up with the white. All of it looking good, and even though there's going to be a lot more action on the other arm, Nothing is forgotten here. For the bend itself, take a look at this, how smooth it is. That just pops right out there like butter. You can see that you're going to get that out. It's all going to look good at any point that you see it. As you can even see some piston-like mechanisms down there. A few holes are going to open up, but you'd call that just under 180, let's say 170. All of it is looking good, including the fact where you're going to attach on, or the part where you attach on the manipulators to, and the navy blue part that surrounds it. The left arm though is definitely the better looking of the Kardashians over here as it's going to be helped very much by the fact that it's got this bright yellow piece down there. You can see the beam saber nicely inside including that tab, grey inner frame surrounding it and that nice navy blue which is going to be accentuated here by seals. These ones no real issues when you put them on because they're not going to be on rounded pieces. How do you get the beam saber out? Well all you have to do is take this and pop it back and when you do that, unlike the robot Damashi where it's going to pop out nicely. But you can just see how well here everything is going to fit in when it's in or in the out position there. And a modeler's knife would just help that pop up. And it's got a nice little angle. And some other little touches here like the fact that this part is larger but you're going to have the grey parts there cut out of the way. For the transformation itself, well what do you get for the arms here? First thing you're going to want to do is you want to take the upper body there. Satisfying click as you do that. You've got some grey little parts there that make up a cool looking V over there. And more importantly though you're going to have the green parts with the, sil the silver seals underneath there, which are all looking good. And then on the inside here, when you're putting this whole forearm together, you're going to notice that there's a really interesting cavity there. And what you can do with that is that you're actually going to be able to take this whole thing here and separate it without popping this whole thing off. So let's try that again, as all you have to do is pull down here at the right angle. And you'll notice that just by pulling on the lower part here, you're going to get some separation showing off some gray on the inner frame there. The blue part here is going to separate. 
and you're going to have not only this part pop out, but the fact that they had that cavity there is going to mean that you've got a pop mechanism, which is going to take this part and move it up there. Everything is looking good. And actually, you've got a fair bit of green inner frame now here. You can see that it's just beginning to pour through in all the right places. And the Master Grade Wing Series is not worthy to shake this man's hand. Why? Because this is all going to come off one plate, the fantastic MP plate that was included there, and what you're getting here is pretty much perfect grade in every way, shape, and form. First of all, you're going to have a nice solid white piece that's going to fit on there very nicely. No lining, none of it needed there, because when you take a look at the actual mechanisms, you can see that you're going to have this gray part, which is going to move around well on the inside, and you can see the way that it's attached in there, so you're going to want to be just a little bit careful with that there. But the thumb itself is going to have a good range of movement. It can come up here, rotate around, and if you want to take a look at the individual knuckles here, you can see that the thumb is going to bend like that, and you can also bend it around like that if you position in the right place. One thing when you're taking it off the sprue, you're going to want to be very careful that you just bend all the fingers into the right place. These ones, it's a lot easier to do because you know where they're supposed to go. But look at these individual bends that you can do here. If this guy wanted to do A-OK -okay or hey with his thumbs up, there's really nothing you can't do there. Combine that with the fact that you've got a tab here, which is going to pop down. It's just incredible the design tricks that have gone into this thing. Because if you want to take the beam rifle and actually keep it, Attached into the hand there, well, you're going to have no issues whatsoever. They're both going to go in there, and you are going to have such a solid grip there. Let's see if you can do it. Just holding it by the hand. Yes, even though it is horizontal, you can see that that is a solid connection. And now the slow reveal of the head that is at least three times smaller than the original Master Grade News. Definitely looking very stylized, exactly as it should be. First of all, in terms of the construction, it's going to be a lot of fun to put together. You've got a big chunk of gray back there in the back, and then you're going to have a large green piece in there, which is going to provide both the camera lens and the eyes. You do have the choice of putting seals over that, and I'll talk about what I did here in a minute. And then you're going to put on this red part underneath there. It's very easy to fall out, so maybe some sticky tack, a little bit of glue, and otherwise just make sure you hold things in place before you put it on. And when you do that, these slits here are not really going to show any red in between, but they're still looking good. A little bit of a complaint though there, because the channels are going to be very, very light, and you're going to have to be very careful here when you add in the edging. But it's the other little details around here, like first of all, that you're going to have these gray parts back there. They've actually got two slits in them each, so you can take some black lining, put that in there, and then when you cover it up with the white, it's going to look fantastic, whether you line it up or not. But really, probably the only complaint is going to be up here where you've got the head Vulcans, and these are going to be all white. And so what I did with that is I just took some Mr. Color here in the silver and I just blasted that a little bit. Unfortunately, I didn't cover it up very well, which meant that I got a little bit of blowback back there because this is actually part of the Vulcan attachment when you attach it on there. And uh, that ended up being half silver. But then again, it sort of breaks up the monotony of the side of the head, so I don't mind that I went ahead and put that in. On the back, you're just going to have a few lining opportunities there. That's a green seal, so this has no light piping whatsoever. But if you take a look at the front there, I also made the choice with the two V-fins. First of all, they're going to be great, the fact that you actually put them on separately there. And I went with a red real touch marker there, just to add a little bit of color. But that's nice and easy to take out, so I'll see how that stands up the test of time and whether that's something you want to do. But if you do want to take this, and remember that you've got this whole detachable stand here, which is going to sit in the chest, and if you want to light it up from the inside, but what you're going to have here is the green part. You do have the choice of replacing this uh, clear part inside with a green one as well. And there's also going to be a little disc that reminds me of the age system that you plug into the eyes there. But if you do that, you're just going to have a blast of green light and you're not actually going to see any proper eyes. So you'll want to go out that with just a black under marker or something. And it's easy because the eyes are actually raised, so you're not going to be able or you're not going to make any mistakes. And if you do, it's very easy to clean up with a little bit of thinner. But if you add the light to this... This is with the lights on in the room, and you can see the green there blasting out of the eyes. Not perfect, though. I probably should have put on a few more coats of the black there with the marker. The camera lens is going to come across as being a little bit hidden there with the black of jewel over the top, or sorry, underneath it there. And so you're just going to see, it seems like a little bit of the left and right are cut off. But overall, it's definitely lit up and is just adding more and more to the PG feel of this kit. And here is a side shot where you can see the light blasting up and... If we can get that in focus there, you can see the imperfect black lining, but otherwise, that should be the idea with the lights off. 
And this detachable panel and the whole head attachment point is just making me all the more excited to put it all together. So that'll wrap up my look at the parts for the Master Grey New Gundam version KA. Why don't you let me know what you think of any and or all of them with a comment down below. Lots of good things and lots of bad things, but of course, just the build itself was definitely a pleasure, but what remains to be seen is how the MS mode is going to work out, how it'll compare to the HGUC and to the previous Master Grade. Anyway, everybody, why don't you let me know what you think and stick around for lots more. See ya. You know, I heard that if I get a PG that I'm going to have a fully lit psycho frame. Hmm. You know what? That could actually apply to me now in this case. Not hard to top this transformation in terms of making it simple, but how is it going to work in terms of actual looks?